Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Inside of today's video, we're going to be taking a look at our games that we just played about an hour ago. Semi-final matches versus Code Magic Purple. They're probably the best team in the world uh, right now, so really, really intense games. Every single game was so, so close. Definitely our biggest competitor, such a great team uh, that consists of Cursed, Jetson, some Bentley and Twisty. Twick, all amazing players. So, going to be going through all of them games. Uh, there's a lot to go through, so let's just jump straight into it. All right, guys. So, jumping into the first game. So, the bans to note for this: uh, Code Magic Purple. They banned Mr. P. Uh, just because Mr. P is really good in the meta right now. As he, as I told you guys, he's so broken. He's a really good brawler. And then uh, Sprout. We banned Sprout R end. So, this is going to be the kind of comp uh, we're expecting them to go B as well. But Pam also really really good. I get a nice snipe on Twisty. Uh, so, the kind of job for me. I just place my gadget behind this wall and then Pam can't really push up. So as long as I keep cycling my supers on over and over again. Tom actually in real life has got a nice kill on Sun. I get twisted down as well. So a good team wipe. Uh, but at a minute we just want to keep control. You can't really score in this position unless you've got some walls down or some kind of... Um, yeah, as I said, some wall break or something. So I just need to stay behind these walls. We need Tom or Semantic to get their supers up. But these games are just so intense. Like, so, so intense. And... Uh, we practiced so many hours into this and it's just so draining. We finally, <laughs> it's finally coming to an end though, but uh, Tom with a nice kill on Sun again. Then only Pam there, I believe we could have uh, managed to go there. Uh, but Smancic going down, probably pushed a little bit too much. I think we either should have just gone at full out and gone for it because it's a 3v1. Or we should have just held because now uh, they have control now. So a bit uh, bad play from us. It's kind of really, um, it's really hard to gain back positioning once you give it up. Uh, about a minute, I'm going to get two tapped by Twisty. So I think that was really pivotal, but then Semantic gets a nice kill. But as I said, I feel, I feel like that was pivotal because now Pam is allowed to push up. Uh, so really nice snipes from Twisty. But as I said, they're able to get Semantic as well. I'll waste my gadget here somehow. I don't even know how it even went out. And they're able to get a goal there. So well played from them. Uh, I go down and that, as I said, cost us really. And Semantic going down as well. But well played from them. And now Tom trying to get a switch off, but... I want to face off against the Pam, just because it's kind of hard for Brock to keep up with Pam, especially if you miss multiple shots in a row. Pam, literally one shot, uh, some Bentley, one shot, Pam, one shot. So, Semantic realising they're all out of position. They can't really afford to tank any more shots, or else they're going to die. So, we managed to get the equaliser there. So, 20 seconds left, in a good position. At the moment, just trying to see, uh, just trying to keep control. Uh, but at the moment, I have got big shots. Semantic gets tapped by Twisty, so I have to fall back. I missed my 3k there. Tom uh, going really, really weak. So at the minute, really not in a good position. Twisty's pushing all the way around. And he's got his pretty low there. But I believe, uh, yeah, with a, with a Pam gadget uh, turret as well, we're not going to be able to do anything. We just can't take him down. It was a good push up from them. Uh, it's a bit unfortunate Tom going down, which uh, might have cost us. We're all really low. And Twisty and Jet played really well at the end. And let's jump into the next game. All right, guys. So hopping into the next game. So we decided to go with a call. Semantic was really feeling the call in scrims. Which a bit of a uh, weird pick from us. Probably shouldn't have gone for that. Just because uh, I don't feel like Cole's going to get too much value. It would have been better with Max. And as you can see, Cole just gets absolutely melted. He doesn't serve any presence whatsoever. Unless he pushes up to that wall. But they're just able to just walk up. Because it's just an easy target in an open map. I feel like we're not going to go card again. Because they absolutely just wrecked us in their first 30 seconds. If they can do that. They can just tank the call. As I said, he has no presence. He doesn't have a lot of damage, really. But again, Cole. Not really going to have the range or kind of presence to deal with much. Uh, they can just play really aggressive. A Pam turret. Twisty gets a nice snipe on me. And now they can just go aggressive. I'm really, really weak. They can just keep going in. And uh, I believe Tom with a nice gadget to break him there. I had to jump back to avoid that super. And um, so Semantic going down, me going down. Tom has managed to clear it off to uh, the right hand side. So it's a good 1v1, but Twisty managing to clutch up and super shot that in. So well played from them. Really bad comp choice from us. So currently they are 1-0 up, playing really well. Let's jump into the next set. All right, so on to the next set. So it's Minecart Madness, Gem Grab. So just to note, that was our first set loss in the entire qualification. So up until the semi-finals, we did not lose a single set. So we were literally on fire. We weren't losing anything at this point in time. Took a bit of a shock. I was a bit on a down uh, because we just outplayed us completely inside of that first set. But uh, at a minute, going to be picking the Piper, Sandy Cole. And they've gone for the Gene, Sandy Cole. So the main reason why it's changed so much. So the meta used to be like B, B, B. Brock on the lanes, but Brock, as I said, can now get um, he can get four pickaxes by Carl. So if he just lands two in a row, for example, uh, it hits him and it returns, and then 
uh, does it again. He's going to be able to kill Brock, and then Sandy can free shot Brock. So it's just making these two, uh, it's indirectly buffing these two brawlers and making them much more viable inside of meta right now. So that's why we're seeing it a lot more, Kyle. It's actually nice to see a Kyle for once. I managed to stun Twisted, but got to go pretty low. We're in a decent position. We've got five gems. Um, they have gene pool, though, so got to be careful. And I remember it in this position. I didn't even know where Sandy was, and he did really well. He caught me off guard, and that's just going to change the complete outcome of the game. I uh, just wasn't sure where Sandy was at all, and I think that's just communication uh, error on our part, because I could have maybe called out to my teammate and say, uh, like, is Sandy about? But to be honest, I didn't even know where Sandy was, and uh, as I said, that's just definitely communication error. They're able to clutch up, get me down, and get out with the gems, so that's going to be another win for them. That's three wins on the bounce for them. Can we bounce back in the next game? Alright guys, into the next game then. So, they have stuck with the same comp, we can't have the feeling. And with this Poco Double Tank comp, we don't bring it out too often, just because a lot of teams suspect it now. But uh, with the comp they're using, they're using Carl and Gene. So, they've not really got too much damage. Sandy is actually okay against tanks now. Especially, you can just keep cycling them supers over and over again. But we know with this comp, we can just keep going aggro over and over again. And now, despite it going down, I'm going to push back. Uh, we've got a decent start, they have Gene pull, so we've got to be a bit careful, but Gene does pull because I'm pretty low, so well played from Jet in there. But we can keep the aggression, Jackie's going to be really good against Carl. Carl's not going to be good against our comp, uh, just because of a Jackie. Jackie's going to stomp a Carl, uh, especially if he rolls in. That's another uh, missed pull from Jet in there, so in a minute they're grouping up really, really well. Uh, Twist is going to go in. I uh, don't know really why he went in, because we've got Poco heals, we've got Jackie. There's just no way he's going to be able to get much value and kill us at all. Unless I had a poke on their side that kept healing him. But again, 5-3. to three, I'm just going to be keep pressuring up. I don't want to full pass the halfway part. I just want to keep pressuring them. So Smites are going to go down. Somehow they managed to take him out really, really quick. I'm just going to keep the pressure up and get him away from Tom. I now have super. It's took me a while to get super. But I can just go straight on the Gene there. And then straight on the Sandy again. And uh, that's kind of what clutched it up for us. We were able to get the gene down and we were able to escape with the gems. So in a really good position here. Uh, the comp working as it's designed where uh, main goals is to counter the Khan and gene. So Smite just going in. I get pulled but there's just no way we're going to be able to kill us. So really well execute, executed from our team there. Pick, finally picking up a win inside of semi-finals. Let's hop into the final game of this set. Okay so the last game of this set is currently 1-0 in sets to them. One all on this set, so this one is the decider. The most important one, I'll see if we lose this, they're 2 0 up in sets, so we have to win this one. We switched out and went for the mirror comp just because uh, we didn't really want to go to Poco Double Tank again in case I counted it. And I uh, just felt like this is a strong comp. This is a really good comp on this map. So they've got first minecart again. It's good to note that they had the first minecart three times out of three so a bit annoying that's really RNG I really don't that's one of the main things I don't like about this map I've actually grown to like this map a bit more but with that RNG it's a bit annoying uh, the fact because they can get the early pressure and uh, especially with the gene and other brawlers like that uh, Carl they can just push up against the walls and it can be really hard to take them down so we're doing well to regain position here gene with a pull I'm just going to keep chipping them down waiting to get my super so they're going to be pressuring us back uh, Sandy's kind of close to super but the kind of main job for me is just for getting pulls on the Sandy. Gene misses pull again. I'm going to be getting the pull on some Bentley there. Able to take him down pretty quickly. So now we have pressure. They have seven gems already. As I said, that first Michael is just going to be giving them so much early pressure. It's a bit annoying, but we do manage to claw it back. And um, my job here is just to keep building up my super. I've got it again. Spansic's just chipping away. Tom's trying to build up his super as well. And um, it's really, really close here. They've got another gem spawned. So I'm kind of waiting for Jetton. Uh, to peek out here. I kind of know he's going to uh, push out a bit too far. And I'm getting max range pull. Tom with a gadget to get him to max HP. Which really clutches it. I was wondering what he was doing now. I thought he lagged out. I was like what, what is he doing? I thought he lagged out. And he's able to clutch it up. I don't know if he needed to do that. I think he just could have killed him anyway. He maybe just did it because... Uh, he knew he wouldn't be able to kill him once he's at full HP again. So, a good play from Tom. A really good pull from me. And we're able to clutch up that game there and win that set. So, currently 1-1 one, one in sets. Let's hop into the next set. Alright, so moving on to the third set. So, some assembly required siege. So, what we've recently um, kind of realised inside of this. Normally, it's just a Gene Barley BB. So, now with the BB nerf, I felt like we can start running Jack on here. Even with the gadget nerf, it's just really easy to... Uh, pull a BB into 
a Jackie and a Jean. You're able to take them out really quick. And the other way around, Ray can't really afford to pull a Jackie unless it's like a max range pull into the Ike zone. Or if the Jackie's really, really low. So, uh, Jet and pulling me, but I knew it didn't really matter too much because I could just take him down. A bit of a weird pull from him. He shouldn't have done that. Smantic trying to get the barley, but I believe he does. No, he just drops that bolt. So, doesn't really matter. Uh, they do have, it's a one-on-one uh, going into the next round, but as I said, don't really matter, we've still got a really good defense here, and a lot of the time, we just want to drop the damage because we want the control, that's the most important thing, it doesn't matter too much, as long as you're gaining back your control, so remember here, my job, I'm just going to be looking to pull the BB, because with a Jackie, you're just able to completely melt that BB, whereas if it was the other way around with the uh, BB, you wouldn't be able to do that as well, but I get another really good pull, uh, I was playing a good gene inside of this, to be fair, uh, Tom Key and Pin Sun Bentley back on the Barley as well. And really well played from our team here to completely keep control. I'm able to take, well, Semantic's able to take out Sun there, sorry. But again, we've got really good control. We've got two bolts for next uh, going into the Ike. So we've got three into the next. Really good position. Uh, it's going to be hard for them to gain back anything as long as we don't feed Gene. I remember in VC, we're just saying don't feed the Gene because uh, on. On the repositioning, it's all about the gene pool. So I've got gene pool, they haven't got the gene pool. It's going to be hard for them to pull back into this one. So again, I'm just going to be going for the BB. Uh, just to guarantee, actually, no, I actually go for the gene now. I thought I was going to go for the BB, but I'm able to get a knot back. And then Semantic, and I'm, I'm able to finish them off. So a full team up there, 15 seconds left. It's basically nothing that they can do to claw this one back. Because even if Semantic dies here, it's going to take out the gene again. As I said, it's going to be hard for a gene to pull Jackie without... Uh, support so we're gonna be able to get like an 11 or 10 boss here and although we're in a deficit in terms of damage as long as we stay alive and get them all down I'm able to get twisty down uh, we've kind of learned from our mistakes when code magic pulled off that amazing defense with the gene pool so Smantic was saying I'm just gonna go next to the gene and get him down uh, I managed to pull twisty again just to stop him from getting the boss onto the Ike and we're able to clutch up get the damage we needed and win that siege game let's hop into the next game all right so into the next game of siege currently one nil up in this set if we win this one we are now two one up overall in sets so again they've kept with the same combo that's to switch sun to the gene which i felt like that was a bad call on their side of things because jetton's a really good gene sun's a really good barley probably one of the best barleys inside of the game so a bit weird for him to switch even though sun's playing a good gene uh jetton's getting pushed back from tom so tom doing a good job i've not too focused too much on tom uh, but he's actually doing a really good job with uh, Barley there. So, Gene really low again. We're able to get the first boss. I get pulled with Sun. Sun able to get the kill there. I thought I could have just tapped him, but he did use a gadget. I wanted to keep my gadgets for the BB. So, that's the main re uh, way I use it now. Normally, you have three Gene gadgets. You can just use it as and when. But when you've only got two gadgets, you've got to be a bit careful and save them gadgets for the BB interactions. So, again, I'm just trying to build up my super. So, I'm doing a really, really good job on his lane. Keeping Jetting really far back. Uh, Semantic again gets pulled, but Sun's going to be really, really low. I use my gadget on the BB there. Sun's going to be low again. I'm just going to go for this bolt. Tom doing a really good job with Twisty, but Twisty's able to survive and get that. Sun with a nice pull on me. Fair play. Well played to him. But I remember in VC, we were just saying to let him have this round so then we could have a good push for last. I don't know if it was the best call. It ends up uh, being an okay pull. Uh, a okay call, sorry. And... But now they have three bolts for the next game, uh, next round. We're kind of thinking because we would have a good bolt lead for the last round. But uh, they actually managed to claw it back. Only two bolts behind. So we really, really need to get control back. It's an amazing defense from us. Again, we're just going to let the boss get damaged. When it's at its like, final stage, like 10k HP, we're just going to let it go down and get the arc. Because we need control back. At this situation, I thought, oh no, they're going to get the control back. But I managed to get a good pull on Twisted. Able to take him down. And Tom doing a really good job on his lane. So I'd probably think we went a bit wrong there. I should have said with Semantic on the side. Uh, but the Barley Super kind of stopped me from doing that. Jetting goes down, which stops him from banking that one. And I think that really cost him. That was a really clutch kill on the Barley. Because we're able to tie it there. So that kill on that Barley there literally won us uh, the game there. Well, actually, well, won us around, sorry. But... At a minute again, I'm pulling Twisted. I don't want to feed him BB Bubble. It's literally 6% in it. If he gets a BB Bubble, he's able to get two hits on it. So he's able to uh, win him the game. Again, we don't want to give a Barley uh, the chance. But now five seconds left. They need to make a play. 
and they're not going to be able to get this in time. Look how close that is. Twisty actually missed the bubble, but it was just so close in the end. We're able to win that one. So currently 2-1 open sets. Let's jump into the next game, which is Bounty. All right, guys, so jumping into the first game of this set. So they've opted for the B, which uh, normally if we're facing a B, we just send the Jackie down the right-hand side. It's going to be really easy for us to keep control. So it's just going to sit there. They're not going to be able to do anything. So I'm working on trying to get my snipes in on the enemy team. But uh, remember at this point, uh, I dropped out my Discord call and <laughs> I didn't know any communication. Uh, normally, uh, VC is really, really important inside a competitive. So if you're not talking, communicating, it's going to be hard for you guys to kind of clutch up. But uh, at a minute, I probably should have gone down the left-hand side. But again, I just didn't have any communication. Tom, uh, breaking up the walls and uh, getting cursed there. So I actually managed to get a tap on um, Twisty there. And Tom actually capitalizes. Tom is playing really well on this Brock at the minute. Curse is playing really aggro and he goes down again. And somehow Tom's super manages to get twisty again. So Tom absolutely popping off right now. Swansick's just enjoying himself in that corner. Uh, just waiting for the right opportunity to push up. So I find that really funny how uh, Tom's able to cycle his super over and over again. But as I said, I still wasn't in Discord at the minute. So I'm just playing really passively. Not wanting to make a mistake for my team. Swansick again two top in that B. He's playing really well. He's just keeping his positioning. He actually manages to go down there. Sun on 19 HP somehow. Um... Which is a bit annoying. I still wasn't in the Discord call. So <laughs> I remember just frantically thinking like what we're going to do in this position. Tom needs to stay alive. But uh, well played from Tom. He's able to dodge some shots. He's able to get cursed as well. Tom with some really clutch kills in this one. Because it was noticing when I should have got the kills. But I managed to get a kill on Sun. Curse jumps in. Uh, I knew it was basically GG's at this point. So I just jumped in and got the kill. But uh, in this moment in time. There's basically nothing they can do unless they kill Tom. But it's just not enough time to get him down. I'm just going to keep going aggressive. So semantic. Twisty going down again. Tom playing really, really well this game. Managing to pick up the win. So we're actually one win away from securing the whole game here, guys. Let's jump into the next game. Okay, so hopping into this one. As I said, it's match point currently. It's the second game of Bounty. So if we win this one, or even a third game, we're going to be uh, coming off victorious overall. So... Again, they have switched to the Jackies, so they've decided to go with the split lanes. We've gone for the whole triple lane. I believe probably we shouldn't have done this. Should have probably just sent Jackie down the right, because then it was the same. But then again, we do get the early kill. Tom pushing up in the grass, but he's going to get sniped. So probably a bit too aggressively uh, aggressive from Tom, or I should have just gone in mid it as well. But it's really, really hard when uh, Piper's got that aggression. Piper's going to break off that side, uh, just so they can get some easy snipes on our Jackie. But at a minute, we're in a really bad position. We've lost like all control. And as I said on this map, about a million times, it's so important to keep uh, control, especially in the grass, because Piper with ambush is deadly. And it's really hard to see where the Piper's at. Piper can just keep being sneaky, but we're in a bad position here. We are pinned back in our spawn. And uh, not really with too much hope here. Even with one star left, we can wait till the end. But uh, as I said, it's just so hard and it's so easy for the other team to extend their lead constantly. So just playing patient. Wait for Tom to get super to break up the map. Semantic does a good job pushing him back. Twisty actually manages to get Semantic really, really low there. But that's a nice super from some Bentley. Able in, uh, being able to pick up that kill. So I believe they probably would have co coordinated that. Twisty got him low. And uh, Sonic only needs to hit two of his super rockets to take him down. Um, about a minute. Trying to push up Semantic. Probably going a little bit too aggro there. Uh, Curse managing to kill on me. Somehow the gadget hit. So he's then able just to auto aim. So don't actually know how he got that. But... Uh, currently six stars down not really the end of the world still even though they've had complete control inside of this game So it going down Tom's able to pick up the kill on twisty He taps him and then jumps because the uh, gadget does 500 damage So he's able to pick up that so four stars remaining We only need to kill cursed or uh, get a kill on twisty or some bet well both of them actually But I jump in here to try and get some pressure. I just missed a shot on cursed some Bentley's able to stay alive on 400 HP that would have got us to win so, uh, really, really close game at the end there. Let's hop into the next bounty game. All right, so hopping into this one. Again, it is match point for us. So, they really need to win this one. And we can kind of afford to lose this one because it goes to the final set. But anyway, uh, Semantic going up, getting early pressure against Twisty. Uh, I think he's able... No, he does put him towards him and then gets tapped by uh, some Bentley there. So, that was probably a misplay on Semantic side of things. With Jackie, you want to be using that super last... Just because then your shield wears off lastly. But uh, some Bentley is able to pick up the kill on Semantic. But we've still got decent pressure. It's still free all. 
it's not the end of the world as I said uh, we've got a mirror match up here at least semantics more pushed up than twisty is but I believe twisty actually rotates all the way around so then we're able to then get some pressure onto these guys but uh, semantic actually getting uh, melted it a little bit but again they're on the grass and uh, I think this cool kind of cost is here so I remember semantic going down a bit I thought I can't afford for them to uh, kill semantic here so I kind of pushed back I let our Jackie get into our grass which Again, looking back at this and uh, actually sending VC afterwards, I feel like I cost us this game because I allowed him to get all the pressure. Curse played really aggressively, it worked for them. And then I'll just give him that uh, uh, grass there, which is just uh, really what, what, you, what you not want to do at all. You want to be keeping the grass for as long as possible. But again, they're able to keep the positioning, which was uh, really frustrating me because um, that's just such a silly error to make, especially when you play this map so many times. And I just let him have the grass, so a bit annoying on my end, but I do manage to get some pressure off. Curse with a nice snipe on me. I was just trying to make a move. I knew uh, we had to do something. I knew I had to break the grass up, else we weren't going to be able to get through. But still, we're only seven stars down. They've all got three stars, so forget team wipe. We're still in this, but uh, 15 seconds left. Not got too much time. We need to work on pinching them back. But Curse with a nice snipe. Sun with a nice snipe. Uh, I just really didn't play a good Piper inside of this one. Curse played really, really well, so fair play to him. Uh, as I said, I'll just play the trash piper inside of them games. Really costing us, but they're going to be able to pick up the win inside of that one. Let's hop into the fifth set. All right, so the fifth and final set. So it's going to come down to Hot Potato again. You guys seen the Clash uh, qualifier games. It's came down to Hot Potato again. And now with the kind of bands and the kind of meta, Daryl's not going to be too good on the side of this map now because of Max. Uh, Twist is pushing up really far. So I think I feel like they actually have the kind of better comp because Barley counters uh, Rico really well. But they needed to get Barley on me for sure. Max is just so good inside of meta right now. Uh, she just melts through tanks. So you can't really go tanks on this map. I'm able to get a nice a double kill there. So we're able to push up. I'm absolutely clapping my lane. And able to get some nice damage there. At a minute, not actually um, up too much in damage. Really up 3%. So again, with this comp, it's literally all about control. And uh, keeping your presence constantly, not wanting them to push up by you. Normally with like Daryl, you can afford to base race and uh, go in. But uh, with this kind of composition, we just literally full control of the Brock <laughs> Max and the um, and the Rico. Sorry, and I'm able to get a Max down again. I'm playing a really good Rico at the minute. I've not actually played too much Rico. It's probably the first time I've actually played Rico in so so long inside of competitive. But I feel like I'm one of the best Ricos and. Uh, played really well inside of this one, Tom, uh, managing to keep Marley away. I'm able to pinch and get uh, <clears throat> some Bentley down there. That wasn't really the best super for me. I knew Max was going to go up. I think I was a bit panicked. Uh, really bad super. But Tom able to push up. Really well played from Tom. Keeping the aggression. Uh, just wanted to buy as much time as possible. And he's nearly able to get some Bentley down there. So really well played from Tom. I'm able to pinch Semantic and probably get some Ben. Actually, no, manages to jump and get away here. So... Barley not really doing too much for them. I'm able to take him down with some nice shots there. Max goes down as well. I get super onto the safe. Uh, some is able to take me down. But it's just no way they're going to be able to come back from that one. So really well played from us. Completely dominant inside of that one. I felt like we was never really in any bothers at all. Alright, so it's match point again for us. So sticking with the same comp. I believe they... Uh, I think they stuck with a Barley again. Actually, no, they switched out the Barley. So mirror comps on this one. Not actually played too much hot potato inside of scrims. So... Uh, this was kind of the early comp that we actually felt like was decent. Uh, just because the balance changes to switch things up. So we only had like a week to prep for this. So uh, Jetton's playing really good. Rico here is keeping me back pretty well. Uh, Tom playing really well here. Jetton's just super, super weak. But I managed to get through really, really early. They're able to get a lot of damage. Uh, but I'm going to work my way. Some Bentley with a missed shot. So it's, I'm able to fin out, finish out Twisty. Semantic just jumps to take down their Rico. So at a minute, we're not down too much. Um... Under down like 20%. So, again, just want to be keeping the pressure for as long as possible. I'm going to go for the super. I thought uh, some Bentley was more backed up than that. I actually managed to go down there. This is a bit hectic. Tom dashing in. A nice kill on Brock. Really well played from him. Uh, Smantic's going to go for the max there. But it's so hard for a Brock to hit a max, uh, which is really annoying. I think I'm able to take out the max here. Yeah, with my gadget. I love Rico's gadget. I feel like I play really well from it. I'm I able to take out some Bentley there and then take out the Rico. So that was really, really clutch. We're able to take them both out. We're only 9% down. So that fire was uh, killed me, the incendiary. But Tom going in, probably a little bit too aggressive, but we're still able to keep it under control. I'm just bouncing my shots constantly, keeping them back, keeping two of them pinned back here. And again, I'm going to be trying to get Jet in the speed. It just missed me. I thought I was going to cost us there. Uh, but Max able to go down. Jet is really, really weak. We're able to get him down. 
and some value again at Tom with a nice kill so like 6% in it we're actually in the lead here one minute left things are just so so hectic at a minute I remember my heart was absolutely racing I kind of missed super there uh, but I wasn't going to let Max push up uh, Max is actually going up here uh, but I knew I could go a bit aggressively I knew if I could get a super things could probably uh, go into our favour so nice defence from my teammates we're able to clutch up Smantic and Tom with the pinch uh, able to get some Bentley down so literally 1% in this it's so so close here Tom going to be getting a kill on Twisty I'm so close to my super and I'm able to get my super onto the safe and we're able to clutch that one up so we take the victory in that one that game was insane I'm literally out of breath talking about that and there was so much adrenaline rushing through my body but we're able to clutch up there and take the win home okay that's going to be the end of today's video I hope you really enjoyed that super super intense gameplay I'm literally out of my breath. It took me about 30 minutes to regain my composure because there was just so much adrenaline going through my body. That was so, so close. Really well played to uh, Code Magic there. They put up such a good fight and they were able to qualify as well in the end. So very well played to my friends at Code Magic. But I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this gameplay. So intense. Let me know if you enjoy this type of content because we trained so, so hard for this. Literally four hours a day. Me, uh, Semantic, Tom, our coach, Kane, and we wouldn't have been able to do it without him as well. So really good team effort from us all. All putting in a load of effort in to get that clutch qualification win. But that's going to be the end of today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you liked, drop a like on this video. Drop a comment. Let me know any improvements you want to see from me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, guys. And I'll see you all later.